homeowners making it too easy for burglars to break in. Detectives in Deltona are sounding that alarm following a recent crime spree across town. As News 6's Lauren Korn reports, eight crimes all have something in common. Deputies tell me their main suspect, a 17 year old, is back behind bars for violating his probation, but say that he's responsible for almost half of those sliding glass door break ins and say that he used Votran to commit those crimes. You gotta give him credit for ingenuity thinking, but. The, you know, he should put that to good use. Instead of breaking into Norlene McCoy's Deltona home last Thursday. Just enough space to get out. McCoy says after the crook squeezed through the fence, he slid through the sliding glass door that McCoy says usually is locked. Put the stick in for added measure. Just so happened, stick wasn't there. My son forgot to put the stick back in. Making it easy for the thief to enter and take what he wanted. Watch his valuable jewelry. He didn't pick up any of that stuff. He just took all the electronics. Volusia County Sheriff's Office says the 17 year old confessed to at least five of the 11 break ins since April, stealing mostly electronics and breaking into homes with sliding doors that are left unlocked. We have a sliding glass door, which a lot of us do lock it at the least and um, beyond that, you know, reinforce it if you can. While McCoy has the extra reinforcement, she'll be double checking that it's in place from now on and encourages others to do the same. Put a burglar bar, a stick, just something secure that it won't make it easy. If they're going to come in, make them work for it. In Deltona, Lauren Korn, News 6.